Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Don't forget, if you use the button down there to subscribe, you'll get notified of all the future videos. Today we're going to have a look at a new decal sheet from Iliad Design here in Canada. This is 148th MiG-21 f 13 Okay, so let's see what we get in the bag. Um, well, if I start with, I'll just take things out of the bag. That will be that would be the sensible first step. And come out nice and easy. It's not a one of those like vacuum sealed bags. So what have we got? We got Iliad Design 148th MiG-21 F13s. This is an early MiG-21. And we got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, seven different versions. Um, then we've got uh, nice notes about different uh, panels, different colours, extra little bits and pieces um, to, should we say, make your build unique and get the colours right. Uh, we've got a Chinese one um, with some different coloured panels, an Iraqi MiG-21 which defected to Israel in 1966. Uh, with some burnt metal tail cones. Um, a Czech built one that was with the Syrian Air Force in 1973. Um, yeah, and just a note about no glass area behind the canopy on Czech built versions. An Albanian one, don't see many Albanian aircraft. Um, Egyptian, um, used in the Six Day War. Again, little notes and things about things. Uh, a Czech Air Force One um, for Aviation Day in August 1964. Um, so it's red lacquer on the top, so that'll be, that'll be bright and also shiny. Um, you've also got to sort out the extra little bits around the numbers and the pitot tube. And a North Korean one, um, one of about 80 on strength from the mid 1960s. So that's good. I like the fact you get the extra little bits of information. And then over here we get uh, top views. And what they also do is the um, he puts the, the bottom view. If anything's on the bottom, it's sort of faded. Like here, the wing, the North Korean wing, wing insignia are on the lower surface only. And there's nothing on the top, which is that's really different. Um, and again, more notes about different colours uh, in certain places, um, and even a note about the, the Chinese one, about the long-lived Chairman Mao legend. So that's um, plenty. Um, yeah, another look for the Asian Air Arms Special Interest Group, um, AsianAirArms.com. Um, they supplied a Obviously, some information to help Iliad Design get this done right. So the instructions look pretty neat. I'll put the decal up now. Um, nice bright colours. Looking for how big the backing films are. I only see backing film in places where you'd want the backing film to hold things together to protect your sanity uh, in, from having to line numbers and letters and symbols up. They'll look nice, nice bright letter or bright colours. Everything seems to be in register. Nothing out of alignment. So it looks quite nice. And because you only get the basically you get the main decals, there's no mention of exactly um, which kits this will work with. But because they just supply the main decals, stencils and whatnot will be from the kit that you're sourcing. Um, it looks like it'll probably work with pretty much any of uh, any early MiGs, the or the F-13s. Um, I think uh, Ravel do an early one, up to I think Edouard doing um, modern kits of these early. Uh, makes, I think. So, look at all, 
pretty neat. So if you have a one of these in your stash and you want to do something a bit different, you've got a choice from sort of flavours of bare metal um, all the way through to bright red. Um, I'll put a link underneath this video to uh, Iliad Design's website. I think these are $12 plus postage from Ontario, Canada. And um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, oh, I'll also put images of these on the website as well, so you can use the link under the video to have a close look at some of the images. And uh, many thanks to Iliad Design for sending it along for us to have a look at.